Welcome to the Science Talk. Bonjour, bonjour tout le monde. I hope you are all doing good. So welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I used to be a stem cell researcher for quite some time and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredient. And like literally today is going to be about that. It is about the science that is behind skincare um, ingredients. So uh, I think it is important like from time to time that I will give you like more of um, in-depth view from myself, I would say, about like the scientific input that I can give you. And also I would say like sort of the limitation. So the first thing is that science is not like black and white. This is not that this is good or this is bad. This is also why you don't um, see any video from me like, oh, you should never do this with your skincare. Those type of things that are always really false, basically, because this is what um, they are. A lot of uh, actually skincare YouTubers um, do simplify things way, way too much. Like you can never use an acid with retinol. No, the reality is that during the tolerance period, do not use any acids, exfoliant acid, I mean like AHA and BHA, but once you tolerate them, most likely you will need an exfoliant in a form of a acid. So it's not like black and white. And this is the same for a lot of things. This is why I always try to emphasize my content by explaining to you each type of ingredients and the why and the why uh, and etc. how they work, at which concentration and etc. Which also brings me to the next point that is also very difficult is that we basically don't know much about skincare ingredients simply because we don't have enough data. The data that we have most of the time they are done in vitro very far from reality. They are not done in vivo even when they are done in vivo they don't use um, a correct panel of person. So for example if you want to test one active ingredient for hyperpigmentation most likely hyperpigmentation from the sun like a sunspot is not going to be the same like um, a melasma. Also, how much people do we need? Is 10 enough? 30 enough? 100? Um, it is enough. Would it be the same with someone who is Asian versus someone who is Caucasian versus someone who is from Africa and etc. I mean, a lot of this is never taken into account in all the papers and therefore it limits a lot our understanding of certain ingredients. And also like to give you like, I would say a more straightforward um, answer. And also on top of that, we are talking about skincare, we are not talking about drugs. Like a dermatologist, when they are prescribing, when they prescribe medicine, medicine um, with the drugs, they uh, are from clinical research. So it means like the whole product, the whole formula has been tested, which is not necessarily the case with skincare. Even though the skincare can use the correct amount of one active ingredient, maybe if you uh, mix it with another one, it will be less uh, efficient. And in reality, we have absolutely um, no clue. Of course, it doesn't mean that all I am talking about is like put it in the trash and it does not matter, etc. Of course not. There are things that we know, like for example, uh, with retinol, I've already talked about this. There are things that we also really close to be sure that is going to work, like vitamin C as a topical um, antioxidant, simply like a good moisturizer with a good occlusive that is going to diminish uh, 12, so trans epidermal water loss. There are things that we still um, know, of course, but like always, we just need to balance things uh, out. And of course, at the end of the day, this channel is here like really to help you with your own skincare routine, so it's always a mix between what I have read and my, of course, take on the scientific data, because of course I cannot read everything on the planet. And also like I have told you, there is no like straightforward um, answer. It's for you, like I would say like to digest <laughs> all of this and uh, make it you uh, own. So I hope you find this video um, interesting. I just wanted like to have like this little science talk uh, with you, of course, a lot more is coming uh, in my uh, in on my channel about, of course, skincare ingredient recommendation, protocols, and so on and so on. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new, consider to subscribe to my channel, and don't forget the beautiful bell. Like this, you get notified every single time. You can also check my Instagram accounts because I have two: one in English, also one in French. So, si vous parlez français. Venez. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for your time and your trust, like always. And I will see you next time. Au revoir.